Hey, what's going on guys today? Let's take a look at my auto top off and my automatic water change system and the components and what it consists of. All right, so I'm gonna keep my setup semi-simple. However, I am gonna have or utilize three of these Neptune PMUP pumps. Um, they have this nice fitting uh, and I feel like it'll be easy to utilize if I'm gonna set this up for my setup. So what I wanna do here is I bought the adapter and some tubings and I want to see or do a test to see, you know, what kind of flow I'd get for this pump here. Um, so my test is gonna be from a five gallon bucket to another five gallon bucket. And I wanna see how long it's gonna take with this 20 feet tubing here that I have. Um, of course, I'm gonna have to cut the tubing to length, but if I can get an idea of the water flow, how long it takes to transfer five gallons, then I can get an approximate um, for my tank on how long it's going to take for a take for the water change. Uh, so I actually have three of these pumps. One's going to be for the uh, RODI water top off, and then one's going to be to drain the sump, and then the other is going to be to fill the sump. So there's going to be a total of three PMUP pumps, and. I know that for the uh, water top off, it's gonna work just fine, but for the water change, I just wanna do a test just to make sure that it's not gonna take me a very long time just to dump the water out and add the water back in, because if it does, then I may have to look at a different pump for a different solution. So I'm gonna try this out, and we'll see how long it takes to transfer five gallon of water from one bucket to the next. All right, so I have it staged up. I have two five gallon buckets here. This one is filled with water here, all the way, or at least all, almost to the top. And this one is completely empty. Then I have my Neptune PMUP pump, the power supply that came with it, and the tubing. So let's get to it. All right, so I have my timer here and I'm just gonna time it to see how long it's gonna take. So when I plug in the power, I'm gonna go ahead and kick off this timer as well. Okay, so it looks like we're almost approaching halfway and we are at the 3 minute 40 seconds mark. Now mind you, this is 20 feet of tubing, so I would assume if I cut that in half, uh, this flow would also increase. This is a lot of head pressure for that small little pump there. Okay, it looks like we only have, it's about maybe a quarter left, a little over a quarter. And we are at the five minutes and about 14, 15 seconds here. Okay, it looks like it's reaching the end here. And this is not going to be a true five gallon test because the pump will not be able to pump like the last, I don't know, maybe half a gallon of water. But let's see how much you can get over. Okay. 
All right, so that is it. All right, it. guys, so here's the results. So it took about seven minutes to transfer five gallons of water from one bucket to the other. So I have the Red Sea Reefer 625 XXL, and that's roughly 116 gallons. So if I was going to do a water change on that tank setup, um, I would do 10% normally, and that's roughly 16 gallons. But if I did 15 gallons, it will be 7 times 3, 21 minutes to drain my sump, and then another 21 minutes to fill it back up. So a total of 42 minutes. So being that it's going to take that long, I may want to just do... 10 gallons because I don't have the time to wait 42 minutes to actually run through and drain it and fill it back up uh, and wait for that whole process to take place but I mean I, I probably can but realistically I may just drop it down to 10 gallons you know draining 10 gallons would take about 14 minutes and then filling it back up would take about another 14 minutes with a total of about 28 minutes so that's under 30 minutes so that might be doable so I may drop it down to 10 gallons but I do want to make a note that that pump was actually pretty warm after um, usage uh, i don't know how it's going to be long term i'm hoping it'll work out okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and stick to this and give it a try but i hope that that gives you an idea of how long it's going to take for you to pump water in and out of your sump if you decide to use this pmup utility pump uh, but if you have any questions or if you have any um you know, if you want me to do some tests for you or take measurements for you or give you ideas, feel free to leave a comment in this section below. And uh, like always, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that you are notified when I release new videos. So until next time, guys, take care.